Tale of the tape for Prince Nassim Ahmed against Kevin Kelly. Seven-year age advantage for the Prince. Four-inch height advantage for Kelly. Six-inch reach advantage. They both weighed in at the featherweight limit of 126. Kelly's trainer, Phil Borgia, says, how's he going to get past Kevin's longer jab? How's he going to deal with his height and his reach? Punch stat numbers, Larry. Ahmed's punches are not that impressive, but he does have power. That's what he depends on. Kelly is more of a textbook fighter. You can see that the jab is meaningless for Hamed. It is meaningful for Kelly. Okay, man, this is what it's all about. Remember, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. And the best man wins. Touch up. Let's go. Come on, guys. Touch it up. All right, let's do this. Inquire. He's at a disadvantage. And that's what happened. Kelly started to go into the wrong kind of stuff. He didn't need that. He got into Naz's world. Has an outstanding right jab. First hard punch of the fight is a straight right hand. You don't want to get out there waiting. Hamed is a puzzle that Kelly is unable to solve. But down goes the Prince on Kelly's first serious landed punch. Second time in his career he's been... Now they will get a good powerful right jab by Kevin Kelly. Strong jab. Backs Nassim up, Nassim in the ropes. And one of the things that could happen would be that the Prince was exposed as a fraud. Kevin Kelly. Yeah, I think the last knockdown was fluke. Kelly was down. The knockdown, the apparent knockdown of Kelly ruled a slip. I think the mistake he made, there we go. Let's go. And Kelly gets out of his boxing stance and decides to go to war. He said he's advantage to stay wild. Drop your hand, make this guy wait for you. Kelly lands a hard chopping left oh, go, and go, another. Nassim seemingly cool. beginning to web. Ducks from side to side, trying to get away from punches. Takes a hard left from Kelly there. And lands a hard right hand of his own. Pointed out, that's another thing Phil Borgia said. He said, my man has the better jab and the longer reach. Break through Kelly's guard. They trade right hands. Kevin's was the harder of the two. Good left uppercut by Prince Nassim. Right hand lands again as well. He sure does. Nassim lands a couple power punches. Kevin Kelly lands a hard left hand. Kelly misses with the right and misses wildly with the right. They trade in short bursts and flurries. Nassim landing more accurately in this round than has been the case before, but taking some leather in return. Down goes Kelly. Both fighters down twice in the fight. Ooh, a good Blistering right hand. hand by Hamed. Kelly a little slow to respond here. You got to be careful mixing up with Kelly because he can fight. And that's going to be ruled a knockdown. And the Nassim advocates in the crowd boo that. Hard left hand by Kelly. And a right hand shot. Leaping right hand by the Prince. Ooh. And a hard left. And Kelly's down for the third time. And he He's is gone. definitely hurt. He's and the for real. fight is over. George, this was like your fight with Ron Lyle. Oh. Gunslinger against gunslinger. Boy, this guy's got power all in his hand. He's not putting his body into it, just hand speed. That was the first Prince Nassim knockdown of Kelly in that round. Then here's the Prince going down. I don't really think that was a knockdown. I think that this guy stooped so low, he has a tendency to touch his hands down to the canvas. Well, if, if, he, if his glove grazes the canvas, the referee is within his rights to rule it a knockdown, and Benji Estevez did. And wow. then that stunning left hand, and Kevin Kelly unable to get up from that left hand. He couldn't beat the count. The winner, and still the undefeated WBO featherweight champion of the world. Prince 
Nazir Hamad.